the new series that is science in radiology we will see some few interesting rare ca- signs but they are classical signs first case the patient came with swelling over the foot and fever you can see there is sclerosis and irregularity of the metatarsals even there are bony erosions and there is absence of soft tissue swelling over the foot so the patient was referred to mri you can see there is irregular synovial thickening there is even marrow edema in the bones and you can see there is a hypointense central hypointense area surrounded by peripheral hyperintense rim so this is a classical sign which is described in madromycosis so this central sus- hypointense area is due to susceptibility due to fungal balls or grains and the peripheral hyperintense area is nothing but the granulation tissue and the outermost hypointense lines which are surrounding these hyperintense area are nothing but due to fibrous septae so this is classical dot in circle sign which is seen in madramycosis thanks to dr navratmal sir for contributing this case so remember dot in circle sign for madramycosis sometimes this hypointense areas can also be mistaken for pleboliths in hemangioma or even rice bodies in tuberculosis next case the patient present with fever altered sensorium and even scissors you can see there is hyperintense area in the frontal lobe which is extending along the corpus callosum there is significant perilegional vasogenic edema and also you can see there is curvilinear hyperintense area with central hypointense uh, deep notch like appearance so on iv contrast you can see there is peripheral heterogeneous enhancement with central hypoenhancing deep depression this is classical described as notch sign which is seen in primary cns lymphoma or even secondary lymphomas so this is a classical notch sign seen in primary cns lymphomas thanks to dr sharad sir for contributing this case remember notch sign for primary cns lymphoma which is nothing but the focal deep depression seen at the margin of the lesion this is the notch sign next 66 year old patient presented with marked headache neurological re- re- examination was unremarkable you can see there is sent along the internal carotid arteries along the flow void you can see there is peripheral hyperintense areas in bilateral internal carotid arteries which which are nothing but the mural hematomas and this is the residual lumen so this is classical for bilateral internal carotid artery dissection so but this is this mimics the face of a dog or puppy sign so remember face of a dog or puppy sign this is nothing but the residual this is the residual lumen of the internal carotid artery and this is the mural hematoma both these resemble the eyeballs of the puppy and even the spinal cord resembles the nose csf resembles the hypointense area that's at the nose even the muscles and soft tissues resemble the soft tissues of the face and subcutaneous fat which is typically depicted in this image so remember face of the puppy face of the dog or puppy sign for bilateral internal carotid artery dissection this is taken from uh, beren federson et al from bmj case reports with permission so remember puppy sign for bilateral dissection of the internal carotid artery next case you can see there is hyperintense areas in the medulla typically in the paramedian location which is showing restricted diffusion on the dwi and low on adc which are typically mimicking the heart not actual heart but so this is somewhat elongated heart so this is classical heart sign seen in bilateral medial medullary infarction next case similar case also there is hyper other case there is hyperintense areas in the medulla which are hyperintense on t2 and showing restricted diffusion on dwa this is also a case of bilateral medial medullary infarction and this is taken from kasler et al from journal of neurology neuropsychiatry neurosurgery and psychiatry from bmj case reports with permission so this is typically mimicking air pods so this is typically mimicking apple air pods so this is nothing but called as air pod sign seen in bilateral medial medial medullary infarction next case the patient at the case the patient presented with vomiting abdominal pain and constipation you can see there is a large dilated bowel loop noted in the mid abdomen extending from the right lower quadrant up to the left upper quadrant and you can see there are three dense lines this is one dense line this is the other dense line and this is the other de- other dense line these three dense lines are seen converging to the or- origin of the obstruction so this is classically described as coffee bean sign we we know already as coffee bean sign or inner bent tube appearance in sigmoid valvulus so this is a ct appearance 
of sigmoid valvulus so whenever you see these three dense lines representing the sigmoid walls seen converging to the site of the obstruction as associated with empty rectal gas this is called as freeman dahl sign so remember freeman dahl sign in sigmoid valvulus next case you can see there is thinning of the carpus callosum in the splenium and also there is thinning of the carpus callosum in the genu area and also there are cone shaped hyperintensities at center the frontal horns so this is typical resembles the tuft of hair at center the ears of a canadian lynx which is nothing but a lynx this is a ear of lynx sign which is nothing but a north american cat where there is a tuft of hair at the end of the ears which resembles the hyperintense areas at center the frontal horns so this is classical of ear of lynx sign which is seen in hereditary spastic paraplegia with thin carpus callosum and also sometimes it can be seen in spg15 which is also a hereditary spastic paraplegia with thin carpus callosum and sometimes rarely seen in marchia fabigna me disease other dd close dd is ependymitis granularis which is a anatomical variants so remember ear of lynx sign in hereditary spastic paraplegia with thin carpus callosum i think last case you can see there is a hypointense lesion surrounded by thick sclerotic rim and a central hyperintense nidus noted within the lesion in the calcaneum so this is typical nothing but intraosseous lipoma but this resembles the cockade what is cockade sign in intraosseous lipoma the central nidus is nothing but calcified nidus is the blue dot fat component is the white component sclerotic rim is the red component this cockade is nothing but a french national ornament which is wore wear wore, wore on hat or even the dresses so which is nothing but pleat this is obtained by pleating a blue white and red ribbon so remember cockade sign in intraosseous lipoma thank you all